Caving Gone Wrong The Tragic Story of Cave Explorer Eric Estable Cave Explorer Eric Estable Trapped in a Dark Cave Eric Estable, who was on a mission to map the Arde Gorge's underground tunnel complex, gone missing. There's no contact from Estable. Rescuers are concerned that if he's trapped in an air pocket, he would only have 24 hours to live. Welcome to our channel Deadly Addiction. And today we will tell you the tragic story of cave explorer Eric Estable. But before that hit the like button, subscribe and click on the bell notification so you do not miss out on any opportunities. Cave explorer Eric Estable, man of age 45, trapped in a cave, and the pair volunteers with South and Mid Wales Cave Rescue Team were contacted because they're among the world's elite divers. Two hero divers have told of their daring attempt to rescue an exponent trapped in an underwater cave. Rick Stanton and John Volanthan were called in to assist Frenchman Eric Estable, who was trapped nearly a cam along a pitch-dark tunnel after a gravel landslide. Throughout the rescue operation, hopes had remained alive that Mr. Estable, a world caving expert and professional deep-sea diver, who owned a specialized underwater engineering business, would be found alive. On Saturday, the divers aforementioned they heard a tapping noise, adding impetus to the ultimately doomed rescue operation. Experts said his life expectancy underground would have been approximately 15 days, considering the abundance of water, if he had sufficient air to breathe. Authorities begin to bore a sinkhole from the surface towards a gallery beyond the rockfall. Rescuers are optimistic because the excavation seems to connect with the gallery. The sinkhole reaches a depth of 20 meters. The two British rescue experts equipped with an avalanche probe and an electromagnetic detector explore the rock fall for signs of Estable's body. In a breakthrough, they assert they hear knocking sounds raising hopes that Estable is still alive. On Sunday, two Swiss divers leave sealed cases of food and oxygen near the rubble in the hope that Etable will be able to access them. No sign of life is detected. He had been in the water-filled cave, where visibility could be less than 30 centimeters even with a headlamp, for a week. British rescue divers find Estable's underwater propulsion system under a rockfall some 781 meters from the mouth of the cave and 70 meters beyond a rockfall that had blocked his exit. They said they believed the way it was left hinted that he had gone to take refuge in a drier space. But late on Monday the British divers found his drowned body beyond the rockfall. As few as eight others in the world are thought capable of carrying out rescues this tough. Over ten days the two dived three times trying to seek out the 45-year-old in the formidable Dragonier de God cave in France's Arctic region. We did everything we could. Gerard Guidefoli of French Caving Rescue Services, Spelio Secours France, SSF, told reporters, but it has finished badly, and we are deeply disappointed. Estable had worked as a volunteer rescue diver for SSF for four years, and last year himself recovered a dead caver from underground. An experienced French cave explorer on a mission to map an underground tunnel complex has been found dead at the end of a dramatic eight-day rescue operation. Cave exploring can either be rewarding or terrifying. Still, cave explorers gamble squeezing through narrow pathways and unknown chasms for the thought of achieving a goal, finding incredible sights, or maybe discovering some long-lost treasure. However, even if cavers step into the subterranean with optimistic spirits, there are times that things go sideways. What makes cave diving risky? Cave diving is considered a type of technical diving and should never be attempted by anyone with an average open water or advanced level recreational scuba license. Technical diving covers a large range of activities requiring special training to mitigate the varieties of risk each specialty introduces. How to cave dive safely. A crucial rule lauded by experts worldwide is that divers should always stay within the limits of their own training. The foundation of today's cave training across all diving agencies originates from basic cave diving. A blueprint for survival, a book written by Sheck Exley, a famous early cave explorer who compiled the basic principles of safe cave diving. 
Training, guideline, air, depth, and lights. Why do cave diver die? Statistics for cave diving are not centralized, so it's difficult to assign a number of deaths per a definite number of dives. It is accepted that cave diving is the highest risk in scuba diving. You may imagine that the reason cavers die is they get lost and run out of air. The real answer may be more complicated than that. Navigation and air consumption are vital tasks for cave diving. However, in most fatal cases, it was a simple problem improperly handled and complicated by the diving atmosphere. Not being able to ascend onto the surface or limited lights might cause the response to the problem to be ineffective. Consider what may happen when a buddy team isn't in contact with a guideline and one of the divers causes a silt out. Neither diver can see the other and have no way to find their way out. They begin breathing faster and use their air supply at an alarming rate. A typical summary of cave diving accident say that the divers encountered situations beyond their level of training and skills. That's all for today. After watching this video, you are now aware of how dangerous it could be. Share your thoughts in comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, bye.